Hi, my name is Adam Nice, and I want to say thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I created this short presentation to allow you as a business owner to evaluate your current situation with your credit card processor and also to provide some industry secrets that most of my competitors don't share with their clients. I want you to know as a business owner, you don't have to hate your credit card processor even though it seems like everybody does. And I can tell you from experience, I promise you, if you watch this video, you might learn something, you'll be able to assess your current situation and determine if your business is in a good spot. So my name is Adam Neese, again, I represent a company called Heartland Payment Systems, and Heartland's a pretty big company. We work with about 400,000 merchants across the United States. And in my experience, I've determined that there are two major problems that exist in the industry today. Um, I've, I've learned over you know five years of experience and, and through working with about 300 clients that these problems are really real. There's major concerns that are happening. It's because it's a young industry and there's you know major changes that are happening. The first problem that exists is customer service. I can't tell you how many times I've had a merchant reach out to me because their rep is no longer with the company or they can't get a hold of anybody. Nobody will call them back. Nobody will explain anything to them. And it's really something that I take pride in as a, as a merchant services provider. And I, I believe it's what helps se separate Heartland from the pack. Now, another, another question, another issue that exists in the industry is rates and fees. Now, every business has to turn a profit. We all know that. That's how you're in business. That's how I'm in business. But some of the issues that I see out there in the field are lack of transparency and deception. I'm going to share some secrets about rates and fees in the next couple of slides that will allow you to help assess your current situation. And I want you to know that you're not alone. Business owners all across the United States, most people are concerned with their situation because they don't fully understand it, it wasn't explained to them in depth, and that's the reason why I created this video. So what I wanna share is really how does credit card processing actually work? Well, here's the big secret. Pull out your wallet and grab your credit card that you uh, you use consistently, or it could be a debit card, it doesn't really matter. Every time you use a credit card, there's only three people that get paid. So on this slide here, I put a, it's a fake credit card, but Fifth Third issued MasterCard. If I use that credit card at your business, the three people that get paid on that transaction are Fifth Third because they issued the card. That's the bank that issued the card to me as a card holder. MasterCard, who, because they are the card brand that supports and works with Fifth Third Bank. And then the last person that gets paid is the credit card processor themselves. The credit card processor has the ability to charge whatever fee that they want. It could be a percentage, transaction fee, monthly fee, whatever. But what happens a lot in the industry is there's not much regulation. So there are, I've seen so many business owners getting ripped off, paying fees that they're not supposed to pay, things like that. So on this slide here, I'm going to share with you some good things that you can find on your credit card statement and some bad things. The fees that the bank collects and the card brand are called interchange. Regardless of who you use as a processor, you have to pay interchange fees in some way, shape, or form. The banks and the card brands are the ones that determine the rates. However, processors like to play game, games with this because they can essentially overcharge or inflate fees on merchants and basically just steal money. Now, here's, some, here's a good thing. If you look at your credit card statement today, Interchange is a good thing. If you see that word in multiple sections on your statement, chances are you're on the right pricing structure, the only transparent one in the industry, which is called Interchange Plus. But most merchants are not, or they're on like a slight form of it where not everything is fully disclosed and transparent. Take a look at your statement. I want you to look at other line items and look for the word surcharge, EIRF, TIF, or downgrade the word standard, if you see the word standard on your statement, qualified, mid-qualified, non-qualified. All of these besides the word interchange 
If you see them on your statement, it's a bad thing. It either means you're not set up properly, your transactions aren't fully secured, you're liable for chargebacks, or you're quite simply being ripped off. Now, for me, not every client that I talk to is the right fit, right? Or every person that calls me or I talk to have a conversation with, I typically look to work with businesses that process over $100,000 per year. And the reason behind that is because there's a company out there called Square. Most people have heard of them, just like they've heard of Heartland. It's a company that provides a good solution, a simple solution at a low price for a business who processes less than 100,000. So if you if, if you process less than 100,000, I'm happy to have a conversation with you, but chances are I'm gonna refer you to Square because they're the best fit for you. If your business processes over $100,000, Chances are I can help you. I'm also looking for a business owner who cares about their business. I believe that Heartland provides solutions that are customized and they actually add value at a transparent and fully disclosed fair price. So that's one of the reasons why Heartland is, is a good partner for your payments. But there are other things that matter to you as a business owner. For example, my process, everybody at Heartland's process, we take a consultative approach so that we can solve problems, customize solutions, increase your data security to protect your business. We only offer interchange plus pricing and there's ongoing customer service way after the sale is closed. Now, there's a lot more to it. Payment processing is a very dynamic industry. There are many other things that we can implement to a business. And, and in fact, I've made it a passion of mine to uh, learn as much as I possibly can. And there's much more that I can disclose and, and share with you, secrets and things like that. But I wanted to keep this video short and just kind of share um, some basics information that I hope was helpful. So thank you for your time. If you decide that, hey, this is something maybe I want to reevaluate this and have a phone call with me, there's my link right there for Calendly. We can schedule a 15-minute call. Be happy to answer some questions and see what I can do to help you. My cell phone is right there. My email. Here's a website if you want to check it out. There's some testimonials on there. Other videos that kind of explain how the industry works and what you are entitled to as a business owner. And if you want, check me out on Facebook. That's about it for now. I want to say thank you for your time. Take care.